California is the leading producer of garlic in the United States, producing nearly 100% of this culinary vegetable. Garlic production takes time, thought, and care, especially as the crop takes nearly nine months from seeding to harvest. In this video, we will see examples of both hand and mechanical harvesting of garlic and how the bulbs are subsequently processed into cloves or kept whole for retail sale. Here we are in the garlic field. What we're seeing today is what we call garlic topping. The garlic that has been harvested was laid out in windrows to dry and that also cures the garlic. Once the garlic is completely cured, this crew will come in and trim off the roots and the stems. They'll put the individual garlic bulbs in the buckets and then the buckets into the bins. This is a piece rate job and the people working it will make at least minimum wage, but most likely quite a bit more than that, depending on their productivity. The reason that we use the hand labor to harvest this garlic is that the equipment available to harvest the garlic mechanically leaves a lot of dirt and a lot of stems and a lot of extra cleaning once it gets to our home ranch where we do the grading and the sizing and the packing of the fresh garlic. So we still use labor, especially for garlic that is going to the fresh market. In other words, bulbs of garlic, bags of garlic, boxes of garlic that are being sold through the grocery stores and retail chains. Garlic is harvested in the summer months. We plant in the fall and harvest in the summer. Sometimes a year, the farther north we are in the state of California, the later the harvest goes. This last winter, we got incredible amounts of rain. So our harvest was off about six weeks. So it's a little unusual to be harvesting through September many years were done by august but this is this is early september and we're just finishing up northern california harvest fresh garlic bins do not have to be sterilized because the product comes with a natural uh, covering on it the skins of the garlic so we do employ a lot of bins they're very very busy um, this time of year when they're when we're collecting the garlic and then we dump them onto our grater or put them in controlled atmosphere storage for, for the time being. And then in the winter months, we will go through the bins and repair them, check our numbers, make sure we haven't lost any along the way, etc. Each bin holds approximately 2,000 pounds of fresh garlic. Uh, we do use plastic bins for all of our food safe items, our garlic that's been peeled or is going to be further processed but the fresh garlic bins made of wood are ideal because the, they have the right amount of slats to help with the drying and the curing process and we of course own a lot of them but we just find that they hold really well both in the field in transportation and in controlled atmosphere storage. Back in uh, August, September of last year, we started planting. Then we worked the horticulture through the whole season until, uh, let's see, five days ago, where we started on the east side of the field. We come in, we call a toolbar, and it cuts, cuts all the, the leaves that are, that are down. Then we put in, they call it a high topper, which it tops it kind of high. Then we've got a low topper, which it tops it, gets all those tops real small. Then after that, we come with another toolbar. It's a, it's a couple of discs that cut in so the diggers could get it down under and dig the garlic out. Once it gets dug out, it turns into these two rows. You get four rows and turn it into two. And then the loaders come and lift it and put it in the trailers. It's a fairly simple but yet delicate process.
So the forklift is taking two bins at a time. These bins are straight from the field. They're gonna take two bins of garlic and put them in dry storage. And then we'll determine when we're going to run them or store them further. This kind of storage is open air. Okay. And so the bins of garlic are um, stacked in here on each bin. There is a bin tag and the bin tag says the variety of garlic, where it was grown and when it was harvested. So we can keep track of the different varieties and the different fields and the different harvest dates. So this bin of garlic is going up on the conveyor belt. The garlic is then going to be dumped onto the belt and then it runs through the system where it takes these whole bulbs of garlic and it just rubs them through some rollers that cracks them into individual cloves. So these garlic bulbs have been cracked and you can see there's a lot of skins and a lot of root plates left on the bulbs. They're semi-cracked, so to speak. So as they come through this area here, there's a vacuum system attached to get the excess skins, and the sorting crew will go through and pull out additional uh, skins or roots that we don't want in the final product. Garlic naturally comes with about 10 skins on it, and they're always needing to be removed, even for the fresh back. In this case, we don't want the skins to be mixed in with the individual cloves, so we have vacuum systems set up everywhere that are calibrated to pull just the skins up, but not the cloves themselves. So what the workers are doing now is sorting out the excess skins that didn't get caught up in the vacuum system, the root plate, anything that they can get out that's trash, what we call trash. So when the cloves get sized, there'll be less skins and less roots to deal with. The next step in the cracking cloves process is the individual cloves come up this conveyor belt and into this tumbler. The tumbler does a couple of things. It again releases more skins and root plate that we do not want. But the next set of purpose for the tumbler is to actually size the individual cloves. There are different um, end products that you get from the different size cloves. Every bulb will have different size cloves in it but we do different things with the different size cloves. The bigger cloves would be used for our peeling operation. The medium cloves might be going to our chopped and crushed. The very small cloves we might sell to somebody else to do something with. This example here is the finished product that we're looking for, which is the individual cloves of garlic. These are our larger size cloves, so these would most likely go into the Christopher Ranch brand peeled garlic. So this operation is also a cracking operation, but the difference is this is garlic that we're going to be planting for next summer's harvest. They crack the bulbs into individual cloves, they size the cloves, and then they prep them for planting. Uh, the planting process usually is in the fall. This year we're a little bit late, so it'll be starting in, it'll be September, October, November, maybe even into December. So what the ladies are doing here are sorting out bulbs that um, aren't gonna make it into our fresh pack. And lucky for us that we have lots of different options for those bulbs. We can send them to the cracker and crack them into individual cloves and process them further. 
But the most part, most of this garlic will go into a box and then end up at a grocery store. What the ladies are doing are taking off some of the excess skins that come naturally with each garlic bowl. Since we sell garlic by the pound, we want to make sure we leave enough skins on it so that it travels well and it looks good at the grocery store, but not so many skins that our buyers are paying for the skins and not for the garlic themselves. So this is a computer generated scale. Each garlic bulb is, is placed into these individual cups and there's a weight associated with each bulb and if the garlic weighs more, it is packed in the line furthest away and if it weighs less, it's packed in the line that's closest to us here. So these bulbs have been sized by weight with the computer generated scale and you can see that they're all very similar in size to each other. They will go into a 30 pound box and then they'll be placed on the conveyor belt, a lid put on them and palletized and off to the grocery store. Even though the lids look identical to each other, each box is stamped with the appropriate size or code. So we have super colossal, colossal, super jumbo, extra jumbo, jumbo, and giant. So the workers are sorting by pallet all the same size. So this, so some of these pallets are jumbo, some are colossal, some are super jumbo, et cetera, et cetera. Garlic is a high-value vegetable crop utilized in cuisines throughout the world, and California is the leading producer of garlic in the U.S. Whatever the size of the bulbs, fresh garlic may be harvested by hand or with machines before being subsequently sorted, weighed, and packaged. With new varieties, continued hard work, and attention to quality, growers and processors will continue to bring delicious and flavorful garlic to the American people.